Okay, welcome back. Before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe. All right, welcome back, man. We are going to have some serious problems in America, man. You know, this country is changing, man. And you have a lot of people that really need some help. You have a lot of people in America, man, that really need some help. What's taking place over there in Israel and Palestine is something that they're going to have to work out, man. Seriously. The surrounding countries, the UN, and all the big shots, man. Even America. Because, man, I'm going to tell you, all that stuff is going to bleed off to different countries, man. And it's going to start to hit here. You have a 71-year-old man, grown man, should be sitting somewhere eating oatmeal, fishing. Going to sit up here and you're going to stab a six-year-old boy to death. Because he thought just because they were from Palestine that the mother was going to call some friends up and they was going to start some stuff. Let's get into this topic. You have a, uh, um, this is out of Chicago CBS. Plainfield Township landlord, a landlord, is accused of killing a six-year-old Palestinian, Palestinian American boy and stabbing the boy's mother because they were Muslim. You know, I mean, what is going on here, man? What is going on, man? You think that's the only person that's like that in America? You going you, you you stabbing people because of their religion? You see what you see what happens when other countries and in the news media start to boost everything up, man? People get into their emotions, man. Then you take it out on innocent people. You start feeling yourself. If you feel as though you want to hurt somebody, go get a plane ticket. Go, go enlist over there and, and, and do what you got to do. But you got a lot of people, man, that have, they got mental problems, man. They need, they need to turn the TV off and seek some psychological help, man. So this landlord, um, now it says, it says, if I can get my, my phone working, man, this is just disgusting, man. Prosecutor said, Joseph, uh, Kazuba, I, I think I'm pronouncing that right, 71 wanted the victims to move out of the home. They were rented, um, move out the home, excuse me. They wanted him to, they wanted them to move out. I can't even get my words out, man, because this is disgusting, man. They wanted the victims to move out of the home. They rented from him and believe he and his wife were in danger because he feared the woman he stabbed was going to call over her Palestinian friends or family to harm them. Kazuba faces now, now faces several charges, including three counts of first degree murder and all other kinds of uh, uh, counts, man. You see how paranoid people are? You know, you, you didn't... I, I guarantee you, he didn't start uh, uh, believing none of that crap until he turned that television on, man, and got sucked in. 
to all that garbage. You know, you got a lot of people around here, man. Oh, 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 it's a, it's a terrible. You, 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 you got to do this. You got to do that. You know, you don't have to be paranoid like that. You just keep keep calm and do what you got to do. Or you're going to do some irrational stuff, man. You're going to let your emotions get to you and you're going to get yourself in trouble. A 70 year, a 71 year old man stabbed two people and killed a six year old boy. You know, and this is in America, in America. Now you may have other people. Oh, oh, oh you stabbing such and such up. Then it can be a domino effect. And it's all over the media now. It's all over the media. People need to turn that television off, man. They need to turn it off, man. Because you're letting your emotions get to you. You don't know what's going on over there. You don't. All you see is what CNN, Fox News... Yahoo News and whatever else is reporting. And half of the stuff is fake. So you can believe what you want to believe. But when you start harming people because you paranoid, then you got a serious problem. And this is not going to be the last time, man. And people wonder why it's, it's always terror attacks. It's always something in America, man. And the first thing they say is, why did it happen to us? Think back. Look at, look at the past. Look at the past stuff that this country has done. You can't judge a book by its color, man. It got to go both ways. Every try, everybody trying to figure out what's going on. Do your research and find out. And you will see why things are taking place across the seas and all that stuff. Grown man. It is just unbelievable, man. And what, oh, why that's taking place over there. Why America's sending all these aircraft carriers over there. Guess what? Within 19 days, $1.2 billion was being was spent each hour. In less than 19 days, this administration managed to tack on another $500 billion. Yeah. Now, who's going to pay for all them weapons that Israel is using to bomb Palestine? Who's going to pay for that? Who is really going to pay for that? Let me take a guess. Let me take a good guess. They not paying for nothing. Everybody's cheering for this and that, this and that. Take a look at your country. Take a look and see what's going on. Just take a look and see what's going on. Everybody's cheering for war, this and that. They should do this and do that. Until it hits home. Then what? Then you're going to see the criers. Oh, oh, man, I'm hurt. I'm sick. I can't do nothing. Those same people cheering stuff on ain't going to bite a sandwich. If something were to come here, they not going to buy the sandwich. Because you got the same, you got a lot of politicians, you got a lot of actors. You got a lot of people that y'all chanting for. 
that dodged that that dodged that uh that draft. They ain't go nowhere. Cause they were scared. So everybody's cheering and rooting and picking sides and doing all this nonsense. And the U.S. is constantly spending money. But I don't think people want to, they don't, they don't, they don't care about that stuff. They don't care. They don't really care or what, what's going on here. They don't. They not protesting for stuff like that. Stop spending money. I wonder how much it costs for those aircraft carriers to maneuver. From this side of the area all the way over there. How long are they going to be there? What is the real intention? How much is how much is that going to cost? Will it cost another trillion? They already dropped 6,000 bombs. That's more than what uh, uh, the U.S. did in Afghanistan. In one year, they dropped 6,000 bombs. In about eight, what, eight, nine days. On what? what who are they bombing? All I see is innocent people. That's being reported being killed. I'm not seeing they pulling militants out. They just tearing up the whole area. That's what they want to do. And that's just my opinion. I'm not rooting for no one. I don't even know them. So I ain't cheerleading for nobody. I'm worrying about what's going on here. Because you might have one of these silly people. You in a supermarket. And next thing you know, bullets flying anything. So if you feel if you feeling that you're, you're you're stressed out, turn that TV off, man, and seek some help, man. What they got going on over there is really none of our business. It is none of our business unless you got some kinfolk that's that's from Israel or Palestine. Everybody else needs to just cool out, man. And that's just my opinion. But you're going to have some sick people, man. Just going to do some foolish, start that foolishness. We don't have time for that, man. We do not have time for that. Everybody is sucked in to what's going on, man. People want to play G.I. Joe. You want to play G.I. Joe, pack your things up, go over there, go enlist in their army and fight your heart out. Do what you got to do. And it's just, you know, but yet and still, this is the land of the free. It is what it is, man. It is just, you know, man, I'm six years old, you getting stabbed up by a 71-year-old man. I'm out.